We've got another monster gemstone here. And of course, we're gonna figure out what it is. Clean her up. All right, so typically I like to look at what's inside the stone first, but in this case, we gotta look at what's outside. And what I noticed immediately with this stone is it has multiple colors in it. Because of that, this stone would be considered pleochroic, but we'll get into that a little later. Let's get up close and personal. So I don't see a whole lot in this gemstone aside from one internal fracture. That doesn't tell us anything because lots of gemstones can have internal fractures. The London Dichroscope polarizes light into two different directions. All we need to do is place our gemstone onto a diffuse light surface and wave the dichroscope over the top and immediately you can see different colors on this gemstone. This is a textbook example of trichroism and because this trichroism is so distinct I'm going to go ahead and say that this is tanzanite and because of the unique colors that this tanzanite possesses it's called peacock tanzanite.